You gotta have peace with it. Your bike will get stolen. It's okay. Oh, I'm convinced. Here in the Netherlands, around 300 bikes per day get stolen, which is around 100,000 bicycles per year. And you would probably guess this already, most of these bicycles get stolen in Amsterdam, which is a bit less than 10,000 bikes per year. It's over 9,000! What? I've had my fair share of incidents myself. For those who don't know it yet, a hobby of mine is hosting tourists in my living room through Couchsurfing.com. And in 2014, I hosted two girls from Switzerland who used a couple of my bikes to get around in the city. One evening, they had a blast. <laughs> and one of the main squares to go out in the city, Rembrandt Square. But after that much boost, they of course didn't feel like riding the bike back home, which might have been a wise decision. So they decided to leave them there, presumably locked, presumably, and take the metro or whatever back home. The next day, they were both stolen. The bikes, not the girls. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this was at Rembrandt Square. And I hear you thinking, yeah, Tycho, it's one of the main squares of the city, body, body, ba. But bicycles get stolen everywhere. You just stole my bike. This is my bike and you just stole this bike. Within four years, I got six bikes which were stolen from me. One of them was right outside my door and it was just for four hours or something. Another one was parked across a police station. So you see the possibilities of when and how your bike will get stolen are endless. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. Those two bicycles I just now mentioned, they were just locked with a little AXA lock and this is not Illuminati. That's Illuminati. That's what I'm saying. They were locked with a little AXA lock and not with a chain. So someone can just grab the bike, put it in the back of their car and leave. Or they can just grab it on top of their shoulder and walk away. Or maybe they just lift the back of the bike and use the front wheel. How do you know so much about this? Anyways, usually you have this little AXA lock stuck to your bicycle underneath your saddle. And you use this lock, for example, when you want to buy a ham and cheese croissant, croissant and a few donuts at the bakery. Pardon my French. If you're gonna go away for longer than two minutes, I highly recommend you to use a chain to lock your bike. To, for example, a light pole, a tree, a bicycle rack, or whatever you find, something sturdy, stuck to the ground. Stuck to the ground. And that doesn't mean that it's impossible to steal your bike. It's an extra step that the thieves have to take. So whenever a thief walks by, they'll just decide to steal the bike next to your bike, which isn't locked with a chain. How to lock your bicycle? Let's go to Tycho outside. Tycho outside. I'm gonna lock this bicycle in the bicycle rack. Step one, we take this little AXA lock, what I was talking about which is stuck to the bike. Then we're gonna grab a chain right here underneath my saddle. And important is to get it not only through the wheel, but also through the frame of the bike. And if you want, you can use your third lock as well. outside. If you put the chain through your wheel and not through the frame of your bike as well, then someone can just screw loose the wheel and take the rest of the bike with them. So it will just be the wheel left locked to the bridge or something. And I'm sure that whenever you're gonna walk here around in Amsterdam, you will see a few locked wheels. Jesus, take the wheel. A friend of mine has a nice strategy as well. Every time when she buys a new bike, she just makes it as ugly as possible a bucket of paint, maybe some knives. The uglier the bike, the harder for the thief to resell it. And yeah, that's what happens. The thieves are not keeping the bikes, of course, they resell the bikes. And no, not far away. I mean, yeah, sure, probably also in some other cities, but they just sell the bikes like two streets further down the road. I'm getting my bike back. Other thieves have a bigger approach. They steal multiple bicycles from multiple parts, and then they make new bikes out of them. A long time ago also, my bicycle seat was stolen and I had to ride home one hour long without a bicycle seat. It was painful. Ouch. Story time. I know someone was on advertisement in the supermarket to buy a second-hand bike. And when he arrived at the location, it turned out that this man had like four bicycle racks full of bikes. So like 25 bicycles or something. And he could just pick any bike he wanted from them. Well, in this situation, it's quite obvious that all those bikes are stolen or built by several parts. He bought two of them. Just two? So these days, even when I'm riding around on my old second-hand rusty bike, I'm locking it with three locks, the little AXA lock and two chains. And it doesn't matter that full classes of school kids are laughing at you for using that many locks. <laughs> at the end of the day, you'll be the one laughing last when you ride home with your bike and you don't have to take the public transport. <laughs>
The golden tip I got for you is this. You gotta have peace with it. Your bike will get stolen. It's okay. Plot twist. It might also be that you think that your bike is stolen, but actually it's taken away by a company called AFAC. Watch this video right here to find out what to do next and even better, how to prevent it. Oh. Click. Come on.